Hi everyone, how is it going? Images are the heart of Docker container. I know you must be confused that hey, if till this point we are talking only about containers and containerization, where does system image come by? Well, one of the most important feature of Docker is its portability, meaning we can share the containers and anyone can just spin it up and run it. But when I say that we ship containers, it is wrong. We actually ship images. So Docker containers or any container in that respect is just the running instance of an image. So let me give you an example to make the meaning more clear. So if you have not watched the containerization video, please give it a watch because I will be correlating with an example from that particular video. So let's take up our sandwich example. So in the sandwich example, we had the bread, we had aloo tikki, we had the recipe written. Now all these things are the blueprint that goes with our image. Now when we prepare each and everything and actually we serve it, it is the container. Talking in a bit technical term, suppose you have a CD or a DVD in which you have say an operating system or a game. So the game would have all the required code in it, all the required dependencies and the configuration files in it. So this is the image, the ISO file or the DMG file that we used when we were installing our Docker into our local system was the image. And when we executed that, what was running is the container. So ultimately, Docker containers are running instances of the images. Now I will take you through a bit and explain to you where can you find all these images. Now the best place where you can find images is Docker Hub. Now you must be confused that hey, uh, what is Docker Hub? So if you have ever worked with node modules or if you have ever worked with Python, I am pretty sure it will be way easier for you. For people who have not, give it a try or stay with me. I am sure you will be able to understand as well. Now, when you were installing NPM packages, what you used to do, you used to do NPM I and the module name. So NPM was a website or rather a provider in which you were able to find the list of NPM modules. Similarly, Docker Hub is the same for Docker. In Docker Hub, you get an array of images from where you can find and choose the image that you want to run with. Now, if you are someone who have not actually used NPM or PIPY, don't worry, just think the Docker Hub to be like an app store or a play store where it has a lot of apps inside it and you can just choose an app and run it. Now, a lot of talking? Well, let's start with our first image that is hello world because whenever we learn anything the first thing that we do in any programming language is to print hello world so our first container or rather the image that we will be pulling from the docker hub will be hello world image so let's get started